It's the Flintstones, they're the modern Stone Age family. From the town of Bedrock, it's a place right out of history. Let's ride with the family down the street through the courtesy of Fred to be like you. When you're with the Flintstones, have a yabba dabba doo ta, shabba baba doo dabba doo ta. We'll have a gay old time. And you know when you hear chords like that, you know, oh good, you're in for medley. Actually, this is our television theme song, Medley, that you've read so much about. Picking. Charming. Let me tell you all the story of a man named Jed. Not a snappy dresser, but he had a lot of bread. He had an upper family that was strange and obscene. An alcoholic granny and a nephew Bodine. Jethro, that is. Big boy. Brain dead. Well, let's not forget about Ellie May. All the fellows wanted to give her a roll in the hay. But underneath those blue jeans, no man can ever see, because she was busy making time with a chimpanzee. Monkey, that is. Long arms. Hairy back. Whatever became of Ellie May? Well, now, you know, I was wondering that same thing today. Remember when Ellie May would appear on the stairs in a dress? Or at the swimming pool, or as they so quaintly called it? the cement pond, you'd hear the following music. <sighs> well, in 1963, TV Guide said that Donna Douglas, the actress that played Ellie, was the new Marilyn. Marilyn Quayle. <laughs> Donna, we're not sure what's happened to you, but uh, wherever you are, we've written this song for you. What became of Donna Douglas, so soft, so lovely in her blondness? On the stairs or at the cement pond, for you, we had a special fondness. So what if you weren't a great actress? You had a special way with critters. Who needs a piddling thing like talent when blessed with such enormous titters? Donna. 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 Oh, Donna. Oh, Donna. Oh, Donna. Oh, Donna. Oh, Fred. <laughs> you know, in the 60s, there were all these really strange relationships on television. Well, there was um, Gomer Pyle and Lou Ann Poovy. Mm, well, they had a lot of sexual chemistry. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. We realized if they would have gotten married, she would have been Lou Ann Poovy Pyle. <laughs> you hadn't thought of that, had you? That's why we're here. To inform and entertain. <laughs> we call it infotainment. Well, then there were all these women that couldn't find a man. Women like uh, Sally Rogers of the old Dick Van Dyke show. What was her problem? A Dambo. Well, what about Ann B. Jay. Davis? Oh, oh. Playing the oh. pivotal role of Alice the Maid on the Brady Bunch. Never had a fella, did she? Never did. Yeah. Oh, she'll, oh, you'll ruin the premise. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate that? <laughs> Okay, well, then there was Jane Hathaway of the Beverly Hillbillies, now. okay? Now, she was a fine actress, too. Oh, she it? was. The Nancy Culp School of Acting. Very tense. Cheap! <laughs> Lighten up. Ooh. She kind of elevated the art of wearing brown into an art form, though, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about a woman that wore sensible shoes yeah. here, yeah. Earth. <laughs> Very earth. <laughs> Well, we think we figured out just what their problem was, and we've written a song. About we've written a song about them. <laughs> and it goes something like this. It goes this. exactly. Hey there, Sally, don't dally with Millie in the alley. It's you who put the dyke in Dick Van Dyke. And B. Davis, God save us, the butchness that you gave us made Carol Brady think of leaving Mike. And Miss Jane, for shame. 
you were Jethro's dame. But Ellie Mae was more your cup of tea. Deca, you're the chicks who get your kicks from singing the blues. But then you refuse to see, to see. You're the girls who put the dyke in Dick Van Dyke. Blue Yakisaki wants some seafood. Mama. They are booing our act. Uh, They're boos of love. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you say we move on to the crazy, wild, oh, wonderful, wacky world of the 1970s? Oh, oh, absolutely. Well, one night a week during the 1970s, we would listen to our favorite television couple. Boy, the way Glenn Miller played. Songs that made the hit parade. G.R.O. LaSalle and Gray. Oh, those, the end. <laughs> those were the days. Girls were girls and men were men. Mr. We could use a man like a bed hoover again. Gee, she dish didn't need no welfare stay. Everybody pulled his weight. G.R. rolled the sour and grace. Those were the Diver was a freedom rider. She didn't care if the whole world looked. Joan of Arc with the Lord to guide her. She was a sister who really cooked. And Isadora was the first prop burner. Ain't you glad she showed up? Oh, yeah. But when the country was falling apart, Betsy Ross got it all sewed up. And then there's more. 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 Bad and compromising, enterprising, anything but tranquilizing. Right on, Mom! <laughs> We're moving on up, moving on up to the east side, to a deluxe apartment in the sky. We're moving on up, moving on up to the east side. We finally got a piece of the pie. Fish don't fry in the kitchen, and beans don't burn on the grill. It took a whole lot of trying just to get up that hill. Now we're up in the big leagues, taking our turn at bat. Long as we live, it's you and me, baby, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. Well, we're moving on up, moving on up to the east side, to a deluxe apartment in the sky. We're moving on up. Side. We finally got a piece of the pie. Said we finally got a piece. Oh. <laughs> of the pie. true because you got me and baby 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 i got you babe i got you babe i got you babe they sell love on paper <laughs> before it turned down money's all being spell well i guess that's true we ain't got a pie but least I'm sure of all the things we got. Babe. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. If it came in a bottle, everybody would have a good body. <laughs> I got you babe Woo! 
And thus endeth the television medley. Not a moment too soon. Chastity, ladies and gentlemen.